this is what your input should and uh this is what your input and output should look like in midi berry so where it says input you can see i have the keyboard that actually has the bluetooth capability and that is selected for my input see go keys midi bluetooth uh midi in but over here on the output i think some of you guys might be making the mistake of selecting your keyboard as well no since uh, I told you to download the Loop MIDI app, so you have the virtual MIDI in the background. You want the output to be the Loop MIDI. What you're doing is you're sending the Bluetooth signals from your Bluetooth piano keyboard. You're sending them to the Loop MIDI, not directly into your DAW. And when you're in your DAW, you select the, the Loop MIDI port as your controller. And from there, you should be able to have no problems. You can see right now, uh, I'm pressing keys. And you're seeing it come up on the screen. The input monitor there, uh, when you start pressing it on keys, you'll see notes coming through right here, and that's how you'll know you're connected right. And this is how I have my setting. There's nothing else special about it. But you have to have Tobias Erickson's Loop MIDI downloaded and running on your computer and MIDI Berry. And this is a Windows 10 setup. If you have any other questions, please comment. Thanks.